weekly report for this past week. You know, now I can talk about last Monday. I tried to talk about last Monday, last week. And yeah, and that was not last week's report. It's on this week's report. Yes. So you jumping ahead of yourself. I fished Tawakini on Monday. Yeah. This last Monday, it was really, really good. The uh, there are a lot of small schools still, and are moving still, still moving really, really fast. And I'm having to still troll because the water temperature is still in the low 80s over out there. And the fish are holding the structure, but they're not holding in one place. They're constantly moving up and down the structure in about 12 to 15 feet of water. And uh, I hooked a fish, a really big fish, that actually I bought some uh, less than stellar Alabama rigs off of Amazon. And it went... <laughs> And ripped the swivel off of the Alabama rig. Literally. That little nice straight wire, it, it wasn't straight anymore. But that was cool because, in a way, because I found out that um, the Largo Shad from Storm, one of our sponsors again, the fish love that thing. Mm -hmm. the, one of the stripers we caught the week before, mm -hmm. on that lot, ate two of them. Mm -hmm. There were two of them side by side on the Alabama rig, and he, it had both of them in its mouth. It's hungry. It was hungry. Yeah, they're they're all hungry right now. Um, so and I'm, so basically, Tawakini, the water's warm. It's fairly clear. Uh, the fish are moving fast on structure. They're they're got the fall feed bag on. I call it the the fall feeding frenzies are going mm -hmm. full time, big time. And then this past Saturday, uh, Debbie and I were able to get out on Lake Grapevine with some really dear friends of ours and the fish were really going gangbusters there too. We caught fish in several different spots. Uh, the Bobo Sumper seemed to hold them under the boat a little while but not long. They're really looking for food and on all those fish that we cleaned, the 75 that we cleaned, there was three, maybe four had shad in their stomach. Oh wow. And that was even with all the, she saw the activity over on the north side, one of the places we fished. She saw shad popping out of the water. Mm -hmm. I could hear him. I couldn't. It was enough chop. I couldn't quite really see him as well as I wanted to, but I could hear him. And she saw him. The customer saw him. So, uh, Grapevine is going really, really good right now. The water temperature is in the upper 70s. The water's clear. All the boat ramps are open. The lake is in great shape going into the fall. And again, the feeding frenzies are going on there. We do not have any gulls yet that I have seen really in any great numbers on either lake yet, but that's coming. You can bet on that. There's going to be some schooling going on real soon on both lakes. Um, the uh, other thing I wanted to say was that uh, fish varied in depth. I mean, we caught them all the way from 21 feet right on top of a hump all the way out to 37 feet mm -hmm. on the drop-off. So you want to go ahead and put your trolling motor in and approach these spots with your trolling motor from, say, 50 to 100 yards and start looking deep. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what we did at that first spot we, we fished at, and they were out there in 36, 38 feet of water. Um, also, when you do have fish like that, lots of times the top of the school is about 20 feet. So you want your bait, it seemed like if we had our bait, when the fish were like that, we had their bait there to 18, 19 feet, just a foot or so above the school of fish, we caught a lot more fish. Because if you have the bait down there, all I can figure is you have your bait down at the bottom, only the fish at the bottom are seeing it, but if you have, a, have that bait above the school, then every fish below that bait seeing that bait. So just a tip. Other uh, thing is, you, I didn't do it uh, this past uh, Saturday, but if you want to get on these fish and try and get a limit and, and catch plenty for a fish fry this fall, you probably want to go ahead and do a double rig. Because as fast as they're moving, you want to try and get in as many of them as you can, uh, as quick as you can. We, we really didn't have a problem. We were just kind of being picky on size, but uh, easy estimate, we kept a 75 fish limit and caught well over 150. Uh, Captain Jonathan and Captain Don had a lot of stuff going on, so they didn't fish this past week, but we've got some uh, fishing trips uh, this coming week where we will have even more of a report. But, uh, man, we're loving our six gills, and our customers are loving our six gill rod and reel combos. So we're looking forward to giving those away here real soon. Yeah, I let our friend borrow mine. 
use mine to try mine. Try yeah. mine. I think he wanted to take it home. He tried mine, and I didn't get it back <laughs> until the end of the trip. No, he fixed with it. He kind of covered it. You know, that he was bit. really enjoying. He said, "You know, I could really get loose of that left hand retrieve." He was. He's like, "Man, this, it made him think. This is this is really good. He loved the sensitivity of the rod." Because I mean, if they if they sneezed on it, you felt it, mm -hmm. you know. So, Six Skills got great equipment. I can't say enough about the rods and reels. They're really reasonable, especially if you're paying attention. They'll have the buy one get one uh, sale, which you, the reels, rods, both uh, that you can you can actually go ahead and get two rods and reels for the price of one. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is I really like about Six Skill is they have started. I can't remember the. The name of the program, but it's basically six bill six bill cares. They have they had autism month. They had autism rods and reels. Oh, honey. They had they had all these things going on that they're starting to breast cancer rods and reels. Mm -hmm. And now they're going to have this next year, the first quarter, they're going to have uh, military veteran yeah. rods and reels. Let me sure we get a marine. So it's really really neat that they I have a a sponsor like that that's willing to step up and put their money where their mouth is. And really give back to the community and right here in south lake texas so you know we're supporting a local texas company when we buy the rods and reels are they perfect maybe not but they are perfect for what we do uh from all the way from their live bait rods which are actually their catfish rods all the way up to their lightweight panfish rods everything that you can get from them is good stuff and real soon we're going to have uh, hopefully we'll have a video about our cooler sponsor grizzly coolers it's just really exciting. Lots of stuff going on here at uh, Luck of the Irish. And we've, we're up to almost 700 subscribers. Mm -hmm. 691. Wow. And comments have gone through the roof. We've got one com one video that's got 21 comments on it. Wow. That's so awesome. please keep that up. You know, and that reminds me of that, that verse in Joshua, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Um, that's not going to mean that we're not going to face hardships and trials because even Jesus says in this life you will have troubles, but I'm with you. And that's the thing. God is with us always. And if we can help you in any way, if you got any suggestions for videos, put them in the comments down below. All of our sponsors and stuff are down there as well. And if you don't mind, maybe use some of the links down there. Uh, Amazon's telling me they're going to take me off of their affiliate program because I'm not getting any sales. But mm -hmm. it is what it is. I'd rather... I better be friends with you guys and have any money from you. So, uh, just uh, hopefully RSR lures. I mean, they've got their baits. Everything's going good. If you need anything from us, like I was about to say, just give us a call, send us an email. Uh, all of our links are in the description down below. Uh, Captain Bradley, of course, it's hunting season. He's busy. So, but we should get him back real soon as well. So, everybody have a blessed night. Thank you for watching. And we look forward to fishing with you real soon. Got a fish over here on this side of the boat and a fish over here on this side of the boat. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you liked it. And if you did, smash the like button. Then go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you're not already so we can get you more information in the future. And finally, share this video so that the word can get out about Luck of the Irish. Thank you.